Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 things that you should check right now on your iPhone. Now, another thing you should check right now is the like button on this video. That helps out a lot for the algorithm and of course helps this video do much, much better. So make sure you leave a like on the video. So our iPhones are of course a very big part of our life. We have all of our info there, maybe some bank info, of course, photos, videos, and our contacts and everything that we need and use daily. So of course you need to make sure that your iPhone is configured the right way so you have all of your things secured and of course you have everything very very safe. So here are 10 things that I believe every iPhone user should go ahead and check right now to see if they have them configured the right way. First of all go to your settings and go to face ID and passcode. Once you go here, all you gotta do is just scroll all the way down and right here we'll find a setting that says erase all data. Now what this setting does is that it will erase everything that you have on your iPhone once someone has tried to unlock your iPhone 10 times with the wrong passcode. So let's say you lost your iPhone or your iPhone gets stolen. Someone is trying to unlock it, just trying maybe like different passcodes. Maybe someone will actually guess it at some point and will actually unlock your iPhone and will have access to everything, all of your data that you have stored on your iPhone. That of course is very, very risky. So what you wanna do is make sure you have this enabled right here. So every time after 10 failed attempts, your iPhone will completely be erased. The next thing you should do is actually check whether you have two-factor authentication turned on or not on your device and of course your Apple ID. The way to do that, you go to settings, you go at the top of the settings app where your profile is and go then under password and security and right here you will see two factor on the authentication. Just make sure to turn it on and what it does is that it will basically use your trusted devices and your phone number to actually identify your identity when you sign in. This is very, very important, of course, for the security of your Apple ID because right there you will have all of your info and all that and you need to make sure that you turn on two-factor authentication. I know a lot of people don't actually pay a lot of like importance to this, but it is really, really important for the security of your data. And just know that once you have turned two-factor authentication on, you won't be able to actually turn it off after you have done that. I believe you have like a limited number of days when you can turn it off after you have it turned it on for the first time, but then you will have to keep it on. But either way, I suggest that you keep it on because it is really, really important. Now, of course, one of the biggest things that Apple does that I believe is really, really great is that they pay a lot of attention to like security for the privacy of their users and all that stuff. And of course, on the settings app, you will have here passwords. Now, if you go under passwords, you will have here a list of all the passwords that you have actually saved for different websites and different services that you use. So let me just sign in here. So once you have signed in here, you will see all the different like passwords that you have for different websites and that are saved of course by Apple so that you can easily like autofill them. But what's really important here is to check whether you have any security recommendations. You can see I have one right here. This is really cool. Actually, it basically shows you right here the like compromised passcodes and it gives you the option to go ahead and directly from here change the passcode on the website. You just tap here, it takes you right to the website. So anytime like one of your passwords has been compromised, it will show them right here. So make sure you always come in this section and check the security of your passwords. Another thing that can happen a lot on your calendar app, on your iPhone, on the stock calendar app, you will see here a lot of different events that you don't know how they have been added here. Like usually that will happen when you visit like different websites and they show a pop-up to add a calendar, you maybe just tap OK right there and they will pop up all in here. You will see all kinds of different events that you probably don't even know anything about. Now what you should do is actually go to your settings and the way to remove them is by going to calendar. When you go to calendar, you will see your accounts right here 
and you should see one of those accounts that you don't know right here. Now, what you need to do is go there and just tap to delete the account and it will delete all those events completely from your calendar. You should see, of course, your iCloud, maybe any of your emails right here, and you will see another one that you probably don't recognize and that's the one that you should remove. Of course, it is really important for every user to protect their device with Face ID or Touch ID and a passcode. Of course, all the data that you have are really important, so you should do that. But did you know that someone can have access to a lot of things on your device even though you have your device locked? And that can be found right here under Face ID and passcode. Of course, on the settings app, you will find here allow access when unlocked. Now, all of these things can be accessed even though your device is locked. Like the control sender, the notification sender, maybe return missed calls or reply with iMessage. So someone can do all of these things even though your device is locked. So if you're of course worried about this and you should, go ahead and take a look here and see what kind of things are being allowed to be done on your iPhone even though your device is locked and make sure you turn any of them off from here. Now, of course, notifications are a big part of iOS and you get notifications all the time. Some of them might maybe be private or maybe are like sensitive things that you don't want someone to see when you have your iPhone sitting on the table or you're just somewhere in public. What you should do is go ahead, go to settings, go to notifications and check your previews right here. Now, right here, we'll have three different options. You have always every time it will show a preview of the notification, whether that be an email or maybe an iMessage or something like that. Then you have one unlocked and you have never. I suggest you just place never right here, choose never, and you will never get a preview of any message, or maybe something that can embarrass you or that is a secret on the lock screen of your iPhone. Always choose never and you just get the notification. And of course you can open it whenever you want. Very important for the security of your iPhone is of course Find My. You should check this and see if you have all of the three buttons enabled because there are actually three different options, not just one. So you go to the top of the settings app on your Apple ID, go to Find My and then Find My iPhone. And here we'll find Find My iPhone. Of course, you enable that. Then you have two others. You have Find My Network. This basically lets you participate on the Find My Network, which lets you locate your device even though it might be be offline which is of course an amazing feature and then we have send last location now by enabling this basically your iPhone will send the last location automatically to Apple when the battery is crucially low so that of course is very very important so you know where your iPhone has been for the last time before it ran out of battery. So these are very, very important. Of course, if you lost your iPhone or it gets stolen, something like that, you want to track it, you want to find it, make sure you check these and have all of them enabled. Now with iOS 14.5, Apple has added a new feature, of course, the anti-tracking feature. It is right here under privacy. So go ahead and check this out. Of course, you might have it enabled right there. And then you will have a list of all the different apps that have asked to track you. Now right here, we'll find the list of the apps. What I suggest you do is go ahead and check this right away and see whether you have enabled like any of the apps to track you maybe by accident or something like that. You can have like maybe an app that you don't want to track you enabled. So make sure you check this and see how you have all these apps configured. Now, by going under face ID and passcode, you will find here a section that will pop up once one of your apps is using your face ID and it's called other apps right here. Now, right here, we'll find a list of all the apps that have permission to use your face ID. Now, of course, you wanna go ahead and check this and see whether you wanna actually allow these apps to use your face ID or not. So if you have done that maybe by accident, you can go ahead and then after disable them from here. So you will find the list here, go ahead and check it right away. Now, of course, 
apps are the biggest like part of the iPhone. We do everything through apps. So what I suggest you should do is two things like I will just like include two in one right here. First of all, go under battery and you will have here a list of all the apps that are using your battery and check if you see any apps that are actually using a lot of battery, but you know that you don't actually use them that often. That will be a bad sign. And of course, I suggest you go ahead and delete that app from your device because it's using a lot of battery and of course you're not using it for a longer time. And another thing, of course, battery is really important, but as important is also the storage of your device. Go to settings, go to general, and go to iPhone storage and see here if any of your apps is taking like a huge amount of storage on your iPhone. Now, what I suggest you do if you want like if you have a replacement for that app, delete it completely and just go ahead and download another app that might take less space. It basically does the same thing. Now, if it's an app that you actually need, like maybe Instagram right here, I suggest you delete it and then go ahead and reinstall it and you should get like more free space. And of course, a lot of like the space that that app is actually taking will be cleared. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 things that I suggest every iPhone user should check right away. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.